name is Håkan from Arex Hooks and I will be tying a jig nymph today. Jig nymphs are quite popular when you're fishing in running waters, sort of a short line upstream check nymphing. And it's called jig nymph because we're using a hook that is bent just behind the eye. And uh, this allows the, the fly to fish mostly upside down in the river and you, you don't get snagged in the bottom as much as otherwise. To get it a bit heavier, you're using uh, a bead. This is a tungsten bead. As you can see, there is a slightly bigger hole in one end. This is called a slotted bead, which uh, gives the bead uh, easier to, to go down to the hook eye. So I will be setting the bead on the hook using the smaller eye. You can find it. Just pull the hook over. Make sure you get the slotted end on the right side. There we have it. And now we can put it in place. Okay, there you can see how the bead is going all the way down to the eye. It's quite easy fly to tie. You don't need a lot of materials uh, and you can you can change the color of the bead and the size of the bead um, for the, the reason you're looking for. Uh, the hook is called the Freshwater Arix FW554. This is the size 14. And for the tail, I'm using some fibers from a pheasant tail. And tie it in by the hook bend, like this. And then we just tie it along the hook chain. And we cut it off. And then we take a piece of wire. This is a orange wire, hot orange wire, to give some extra glister to the fly and also secure the body. The body I'm using is also pheasant tail feathers. So I just cut off a bundle and tie it in by the tip. They're quite fragile by the tip, so don't pull them too hard when you're winding the body. But tying in it by the tips gives the body a slightly tapered shape. And just make an even body and secure. Cut off the waist. And then I cross wind the rib just to make the fibers pheasant tail fibers last a bit longer and secure. And cut off. Now for the thorax I'm using dubbing, but you can use peacock curl or, or yarn or whatever. And I'm using uh, SLF prism. You can use eye stub as well, but I'm using this in an olive peacock color. and just make a small thorax. Make sure to cover it all the way up to the bead. And then we just finish off with a whip finish. And there is your finished jig nymph. 